name is Raj Dixit, Executive Chef Stonehill Tavern at the San Regis Monarch Beach. Today we're going to demonstrate steamed black sea bass and chamomile tea. So for this dish, we're going to start with black sea bass and some manila clams. Black sea bass is a fish from the east coast. I personally like it because it's mild in flavor but firm in texture. And it really kind of represents the idea of what we're trying to go for this dish, which is clean flavors, zero to, to, to no fat uh, whatsoever. So we start off just brushing the bottom of a, a pan or a plate with extra virgin olive oil. To this we're going to go ahead and add a few pieces of hearts of palm, a couple pieces of burdock root, which is very similar to salsify. This dish can really be done of any of your seasonal vegetables. Here's a heart of bok choy or Chinese cabbage. Some fava beans. Any of the cultivated mushrooms, mushrooms that are in season, we're going to use a shiitake mushroom today. And of course, your manila clams. Just kind of lightly season your fish on both sides. A few turns of pepper. Here, we're going to add juice from raw ginger. add the chamomile tea. You can use any tea you like, white tea, oolong tea, just for the, uh, the season. I personally like chamomile tea. It has a really nice aromatic quality to it. And again, this dish really emphasizes one pot cooking, so set it and forget it while you're at your house. It gives you a chance to really kind of just entertain your guests watch TV, have a glass of wine, but it's much lighter than most one pot cooking that you're used to seeing. Roughly four minutes, but we'll see if it takes longer. The sauce for this dish is made from dashi. Dashi is a Japanese soup stock base. Um, very, very common in most Japanese recipes. Um, with this one, it's essentially three ingredients. Kombu or kelp, a little bit of soy sauce, and a little bit of dried bonito flakes. Here we're going to add some tr black truffle puree. Take the seasoned black truffles that you have, and just kind of use it to add a little bit of a, a fifth flavor, some umami into your dashi. And slowly bring that to temperature. Here we're using a modified starch called kudzu. Very similar to tapioca starch or corn starch, um, in that it thickens, uh, thickens sauces. It's used as primarily as a thickener. But unlike the other starches, this uh, particular one, which is used a lot in kaiseki cooking, helps to aid in digestion. So instead of ending up being very heavy when you eat it, it thickens, but it actually aids in digestion. Cold water, and just kind of slightly bloom it just like you would for cornstarch. Slowly begin to add it into your seasoned dashi with the truffle pate. Kind of see it starts to begin its gel almost instantly. Sauce base, I'd like to add a little bit more of the fresh ginger juice. So, a little bit more of the truffle. With the remaining liquid, we have a lot of nutrients, a lot of flavor. What I like to do is add it back into my dashi. Just that we don't mix anything. And So 
little bit of just uh, green of scallion and a little bit of this black truffle dashi. Steamed in chamomile tea. A really simple way to kind of start off the summer and eat low, very low calorie but feature the season's bounty of vegetables.